Good morning, everybody. It's Celia, and it's Sunday morning, April 2nd. And I've just sat down to do my morning pages. And I kind of wanted to talk about um, a comment I got on yesterday's video. And I don't want to call this person out, and I don't want to be defensive about it, but I have been thinking about it for a while and I just kind of wanted to respond to it. Um, and it's not easy and I don't want to expose myself too much, which is a reason why I don't sh like show every page I write or um, or really advertise my channel or, um, anything like that. My journaling is for me and I'm kind of doing this channel for me because I know there's other people out there who are going through the same thing. Um, like I said, I journal for mental health. I have a lot of trauma which I know everybody says that, but it's true. Um, and I'm probably a lot older than a lot of you on this channel. I know the person who made the comment is definitely a lot younger than me. I could probably be your mother, <laughs> but I'm not calling you out and say, uh, cause you bring up good ideas and, um, Yeah, so, yeah, um, like I said, I journal for mental health. I couldn't do it a lot when I was younger, although I did journal a lot. Um, my mother started reading my journals, and that was, um, a huge trust issue. So, and... I've never had a great relationship with my mother and it's ironic now because she's in a nursing home and she has Alzheimer's and I go to visit her and now finally all these years later she tells me she loves me and she tells me I'm beautiful and she never told me that but this is not just about my mother issues there was a lot of stuff that went on and I mean, I don't have to justify this. I, I go in through the processes of what I need to go through to deal with some of these issues. But I will say, again, I journal for mental health. Um, and that's the reason why I go through journals so much, because I do think about these things and do try and process these things. And so... I was writing a little bit last night, or yesterday, like this is all yesterday. Um, and um, I'm going to be honest. I have an addictive personality. Um, but this is like the only addiction I have. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I'm vegan. I, um, don't play the lottery. I live a very quiet, humble life now that my son is, um, out on his own. I was a single parent raised a son who went to a good college and has a good job and um it's very different when you're on the other side of all of that because as a parent you give your whole life to your kid and especially as a single parent um and I always wanted to be a mother maybe because my mother was not a good mother but 
I'm exposing a lot right now. I don't usually open up to people. I'm really bad about this. Never mind the whole internet. But anyway, um, so yeah, I gave myself a lot and there were some really struggling years and now my stationery is, is my joy. And yes, I buy too much. Yes, I spend too much money on it. But the only person I'm hurting is myself and my carbon footprint. Um, and yeah, so I mean, it's not, I mean, you could think if I told you the numbers, cause I know how much stuff I have, how many pens I have, how many washi tape rolls I have, how many notebooks I have, all that stuff. Like I keep track of all of it cause I'm obsessive like that. Um, and it's all organized. If I told you, um, what was I going to say? I feel like it's not a hoarding thing. I mean, maybe it is, but it's the only thing in my life that I do to excess. Um, well, other than eat maybe. Um, but it, I feel, I don't know. Why am I justifying this? Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm, so this person told me to sit down and write about it, which I do. I have years, and this is 65, Journal 65. I have years of volumes of writing about why I do things like this. And like yesterday morning, even before I did the video, I had set up a system for myself. And I was like, when I think I want to order something, I'm going to um, pay a bill or, or add, you know, pay down a bill. And I actually did that yesterday. I had gone online and there was something I wanted to buy and I put it in my cart and then I said, no, I can't do this. And I deleted it. And I took the money that I was thinking about and I put it towards a bill. Um, I mean, I really don't have to expose all this, but this is, I just want to be honest with you that um, this is something that I'm working on. And it's not so easy when it's connected to trauma. So, um, and yeah, I can't like, there's all these people that say, put something in your card and wait 24 hours and see if you still want it. That's, that doesn't work for me because it'll become an intrusive thought and it's all I can think about. So be grateful if you don't have that type of problem. Um. And yeah, I've been doing my monthly empties because I got good response to my um, videos where I show my empties. And yesterday I did something that I don't usually do. I told you how many things I had bought. And that was the first time I ever did that. And it took a lot out of me to admit that because nobody knows um, except for me. <laughs> so I probably won't do that again. And I'm not even sure I want to do the empties videos. I know that people like them, but I know a lot of people do them because they're using their stash and they want to show people how much they've used. And I was trying to do that to hold myself accountable. I mean, I'll still track it, but I might not share it. I don't know. Anyway, um, what else would I want to say? I guess I just want to say we don't know everyone's whole story. And so 
while you think it might be easy to stop something, like think of other addictions, while you think it might be easy to say stop drinking or stop playing the lottery or whatever, um, this isn't easy for me because also I went without for so long, like, I don't know. I don't want to get emotional about this, but, and this isn't meant to be a therapy session, but, um, I'll leave it at that. Um, yes, I really appreciate the person who commented about this and I'm not trying to start any tension. Um, I just want them to know that she gave really great ideas and I use all those ideas, but it's something I'm working on. And I just, like yesterday, I was like, I'm going to tell them what I bought to be accountable. And um, now I kind of hesitate to do that. Um, and it's kind of a, like a battle with me all the time because honestly I want to live a more minimal life and I do other than my stationary stuff. Um, I want to travel more. And so I think about it all the time. I'm like, I gotta scale down all my stuff. I gotta have everything ready so I could just pack up and go which is why I have a lot of my stuff, um, a lot of my pens and pouches and stuff so that I could just throw them in a the bag. And I even decreased, like I have these washi drawers here and I had a lot of them and I took all the washi out of some of them. I still have the ones on my desk, but I had more and I took all the washi out of those so that um, if I ever had to pack them up, I could go. So, anyway, I don't even know if I want to post this video because I'm telling all this stuff. But just know that you don't know the story behind anybody else's life. And you only see so much online. Like, you don't know how I live. You don't know, um, like, how hard I work for what I have. You you know, things like that. And that's kind of another... Like, I don't like to do haul videos. Number one, I haven't gotten great responses from them. But also, I hate disclosing that. So, anyway. Um... I'm going to get back to writing. If you want to stay and write with me, that would be great. If not, thanks for listening this far. Um, and I do really appreciate all your comments. And I'm really, I'm really surprised that I have like the 100 plus people who do follow me. So um, I appreciate you. And um this is a big step for me to put this part of my life on YouTube. So, um, if you, I know there's some out there, other people out there who can relate and, um, that's about it. I'm just going to get back to writing. So thanks for listening. And if you want to write along with me, feel free. I'm going to keep this rolling for a few more minutes.